today, let's see if we can go west. Just kidding. Maybe. Who knows? We're going to go deliver a load. And then we're going to hopefully, like I said, hopefully, just depends on what the travel agents have us do, uh, go reload a load of equipment, maybe, to go west. Stick around. everybody glad you dropped stop dip dip boop, boop, boop. we're still not awake evidently glad y'all dropped by the channel glad to have you here thought that truck had my last name on the mud flap i'm gonna take off here from carnesville georgia forgot again and going to try to go get this load off as early as we can and from what I know from talking to other people, I know there's a place where we load equipment at that's relatively close, 140-ish miles away, 150 miles. And I also know that within like 30 miles, there's another place that we load equipment at. Uh, so there could be opportunity for some equipment securement videos. Who knows? Uh, but other than that, I don't really know what we'll be doing. Just going to go along for the ride. I hope you guys will do the same. Uh, service is kind of iffy here at this Petro. So if you come here, don't plan on having a whole lot of good service on your internet. I heard people talk about it on the radio going down the road last night whenever I was parked here. And the video's struggling to upload. So, I know this is out irrelevant because you've already subscribed to the channel, you've already clicked the bell. So, by the time this video is up, you've already watched the other video because it rung your bell and you knew that it was there, so you watched it because it's already uploaded. Anyways, a whole lot of rambling right there. But stick around and we'll see if we can't get us another load going west.
right, guys. Got her unloaded. Got some footage for you. I guess you've seen that already. I don't know why I told you that. Duh. So, it all worked out. Now I'm going to send my empty stuff and figure out where the travel agents are going to have us go. I will check back in with you and let you know what I know. Alright guys, I'm in Salisbury now. I didn't didn't really remember to say hey where I was going. So I'm getting loaded. Uh, going to Chino, California. It's apparently some sort of composite decking. That's uh, what it says. I'm not not 100 percent sure what it is. Uh, but I got tarp it. So can't get no more footage here. It's kind of cramped and a little kind of craziness going on. But we'll get it tied down. I'm gonna stop, check, check and see the weights on it, make sure everything's right. And I'll show you guys what it looks like tarped at least. Uh, and then we'll set sail for California. Like I said, I was wanting to go west, so. That's where we're going. I don't think you can go much more west than that. Well, you can, but you better have a boat. So, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know what we end up getting, how it turns out. Y'all be careful now. Guys, yeah, here's what we got. Strapped it, tarped it. I actually come over to truck stop parked it right down the street. That way, I didn't have to use their safety stuff. You say OCD much? I do a lot. Chino, California. Just be there 9.30 Monday morning. I think it says like 2,400 miles. So we'll just get it and ride. Oh, left the bungee on there. Get it and ride. I'm going to take it and put it up around the truck. Yeah, that's what we ended up with. Good straight load. I like it when they tarp like that. I probably couldn't see it because of the sun. About every bungee matches, that's all I it. it takes me a little bit longer to tarp sometimes. I don't know how that hole's gonna turn fair. Might end up having to do something a little different. Yeah, I might do something different already. Alright guys, that's a day. That's gonna be a day. Uh, we didn't do a whole whole lot of miles, I don't think. Let me look. Yeah, look. Oh wow, I need to go in the sleeper. I thought I did. Oh, whoops. Burn them hours up. It'll be alright. Uh, let's see here. We ended up going... Yeah, we didn't do a whole lot. We done 473 miles today. Uh, we had to wait a little bit on the load, and then we had to tarp it and untarp. And... Hopefully the footage is good for you guys. Like I said, hopefully that's what we'll end up be doing more of. As far as those video, videos go, excuse me. Um, I had a couple people that have said to get the action camera. A couple comments talking about getting the action camera first. And I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. 
because if I ain't mistaken, they've actually got mounts for the camera I'm going to get that I can actually use it for a dash cam too. So I'm going to go ahead and probably order that maybe tonight. I might order it tomorrow. That way it's there when I go home. I'm going to try to go home next week after I come after I get out to California and then come back. I'm going to try to go home after I come back. Uh, and then it'll just be a I probably won't stay home long this time because our wedding anniversary is coming up at the end of the month and we're going to go take off for a weekend so I'm going to try to maybe do two weeks out before then but that's neither here nor there been a good day, got loaded uh, headed west, that's what we like it's good clean running um, Linda says I've got 2140 miles that's a lot of miles that's the longest miles that I've had on that thing for a trip in a long time actually so real blessed about that um, tarp, tarp road good um, you've seen it earlier I'll try to get some shots of it tomorrow uh, farther away that loves that I was at it was I, once I got it tarped, I wanted out of that place. It was crazy. Um, I waited to get fuel till I got over here in Knoxville. I made it to Knoxville tonight, by the way. Um, get up. Uh, I've got a. I've got to stop tomorrow. I've got a little air leak. We got to find, and I got to get it fixed. Um, we're gonna try to probably stop in Jackson, and get it fixed. It's not bad, but it's bad enough. We I don't like it. So. Uh, try to get that took care of and then I don't know see how far we make it um, they set my appointment I think my appointment they they want me out there at 9 30 Monday morning that should be no issue at all Lord willing so but uh, I'm gonna try to get these when I put these videos when these time-lapse videos where I load and unload and you know the, the cleaning video I done if you hadn't seen the, the polishing video, check that out. Uh, like I said, it it didn't. I didn't get it done, but I was happy with the way it turned out. Still bugs me about the wheels. Yes, Matthew, I said it still bugs me about the wheels, and he's been giving me a hard time about the OCD. Uh, but I'll get her took care of. Uh, like I said, I didn't get the wheels polished. I didn't get. The headache rack polished, didn't get the visor polished, and I didn't get the step box over here polished. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it still looks good, in my opinion. There's some dust on it, but I've got a thing at home. Everybody's seen them as California dusters, and they real, they're real handy. So I've been talking to another guy, another YouTube channel. He's been, he he's like, a lot of us are. He's real particular about his ride, and he's. I've seen a lot of really unique things that I've never. Uh, I kind of want anything. You're going about this all the hard way, so I'm gonna try to. He don't have his ideas copyrighted or nothing. Everybody probably does it in the show truck scene. I just want to be in the show truck scene. You hear me? So that's enough rambling for tonight. I'm going to go back here and start my food, get it going, start trying to throw this video together. Um, got some little bonus footage there. I had to pull in behind this building, and the guy gave me two options. He said, he said, I'm going to give you two options. You can turn around here after we get you unloaded, or you can turn around here while you're still loaded. I said... I think I'm going to take a third option. He said, what's that? I said, I'm going to back out of the driveway. He looked at me. He said, well, that'll work too. They just had a bunch of wood laying around, busted wood, looked like pallets. and I don't like driving through that stuff. There's enough junk out here on the road. I don't want to be going through a parking lot and risk getting a nail on the tire. So I was just like, I'll just back out. And I was going real good. I was tickled to death with the way I was backing out of there. And you've seen it in the video, I had to pull up one time. And the only reason I really had to was because I didn't want to run over the curb. Yep. And I didn't 
the front end was starting to get in the grass a little bit and I didn't want you know I didn't want to be that guy that tears up the grass so pulled up got it out of there but I've always heard the first pull up's free after that they start costing you so we still got it still got it didn't know nobody anything but guys like the video share the video I, I've seen some people sharing it uh, I don't know if they're afraid to share me or what I guess I would be I could understand but hopefully we can start by the time I get this camera hopefully we can start getting a good audience to where I can really show what I wanted to show with the channel about the things you encounter in trucking uh, the loads, the traffic, you know, the scenery, that sort of stuff. I appreciate you guys that have hung around, the ones that have subscribed and and are constant there. It's a, it's a real blessing. I really appreciate it. Um, but subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Ring the bell. You've got to ring the bell. Um, it. I put that video I put up for today. Let me think about that. It's the video from yesterday that went up this morning. It didn't, where I didn't have good signal, it wouldn't upload. It didn't, I'd had to start it over pretty much. And I didn't get it uploaded until 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. And I've noticed when I put them up in the middle of the day, you all don't see them. But if you've got that bell rung, it'll notify you that I posted a new video. You can watch it on your break time. When you get home, don't watch it while you're driving home though. That's dangerous. Uh, but if you go home and you ain't got nothing to do, you can watch it when you get home. So, but Ring the bell, subscribe to the channel, comment down below how you think we're doing. And like I said, I'm going to start here in Knoxville. I'm in Knoxville now. I don't know where I'll end up making it tomorrow. It just depends on how long we're in Jackson, I guess. So, but it's all good. We'll get her done. We'll get her took care of. But going to Chino, California. I don't know if you heard that in another video or not. But we're making our way west. So, I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Um, Y'all be safe. The last mile was the hardest. And... You keep your shiny side up and the greasy side down. Now, 10-4.